Okay. I'm getting it. Five, four, three. <laughs> I'm going to do this legal. He's I'm going to do this right. Okay, it's six o'clock. <laughs> this is a call to order. <laughs> it's a call to order for the Sparks Planning Commission meeting Thursday, July 7th, 2016. Roll call. Commissioner Camarota. Here. Commissioner Peterson. Here. Commissioner Fewens. Here. Commissioner Lee. Here. Commissioner Sperber. Here. Commissioner Vanderwell. Absent. Commissioner Bowles. Absent. Mm. Deputy City Attorney Cheryl Lighting. Here. Assistant Community Services Director Development Armando Ornells. Here. Okay. This item is for public comment for either a public comment on any action item or for general public comment and is limited to no more than three minutes for each commentator. If there is public comment, we would ask that you fill out a card and return it to the end of the diocese. Diocese, excuse me. There being none, um, we'll seek approval of the agenda. Move to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Agenda approved. Approval of the minutes? Move to approve. Second? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Two Did, two Which one is our uh, Actually, the, the agenda only calls for one. There's two. There's, there's there, two. Are two. there are two minutes. There's June 2nd and yes, excuse June 16th. Okay, let me make the motion again. Uh, move let to approve the June 2nd. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? A move to approve the minutes of June 16th, 2016. Move to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Minutes approved. I will abstain from that vote. Not that Are you abstaining from 16th? Thank you. Announcements and committee reports? I have none. Informational items? Uh, Mr. Chairman, members of the Planning Commission, just wanted to uh, briefly review with you once again uh, some of the upcoming meetings having to do with the uh, update of the comprehensive plan. Uh, a week from today, on July 14th, uh, in the basement of City Hall, uh, the Planning Commission is holding a workshop at 11 a.m. Uh, the focus of that workshop will be on the goals and policies for the for the comprehensive plan, so we'll be asking you to review a draft of, 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 of the goals and policies. Uh, and then uh, on August 4th, uh, following the, the regular Planning Commission meeting, we will uh, retire to uh, the basement of City Hall once again, and we'll be conducting another workshop, this, on, this time on the, on the full document. Um, mm -hmm. And then, um, and then uh, depending on, on how those goes, at this point we're tentatively looking for the Planning Commission to actually consider the, the comprehensive plan draft on August 18th. So. Those are three upcoming meetings uh, having to do with the comprehensive plan. Thank you, Armando. I'd like to open public hearing items. PCN 16024, consideration of and possible action on a request to rezone a site approximately 48.787 square feet, which is 1.12 acres in size, from SF40 classified as residential single family, 40,000 square feet minimum lot size to SF6 residential single family, 6,000 square foot minimum lot size located at 1980 Cobasco Way, Sparks, Nevada. Uh, staff presenting is um, Mr. E. Ian, no? No. Oh, excuse me. I'm covering for him tonight. Sorry. Good evening, Karen Malby, Development Service Manager. Um, this project is to rezone a property that's 1.12 acres located at 1890 Probasco. You can see the property is kind of a upside down L here. here this would be Probasco Lane here, York would be the closest northern street. The assessor's records show that this, the home was built on the property in 1959 and the property was never part of a subdivision. Um, 
The site is surrounded at, by smaller lots, single-family lots. You can see around, surrounding the property here are all um, prop, properties that are zoned SF6, and that's what the applicant is requesting to change their property from SF40 to SF6. Um, the master plan has designated this entire area to be low-density residential, which is in conformance with the request for um, single-family 6,000-square-foot lots. Therefore, staff is recommending approval of this. I'll be happy to answer any questions. Any questions for Ms. Maltney? Is uh, there being no questions? Is the applicant here? Would the applicant like to come forward? They don't have to. They don't want to. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sure. Uh, this is a public hearing item. I'd like to open the public. open the public hearing. Would anyone like to speak to this matter? I'd like to close the public hearing. Uh, back to the commissioners for final questions. Any questions from the judges? There being no questions, a call for a vote. I'll move the motion. Chairman, I move to forward a recommendation for approval to the City Council for the request associated with PCN 16024 to rezone approximately 48,787 square feet, 1.1 2 acres, from SF40, residential single family, 40,000 square foot minimum lot size, to SF6, residential single family, 60,000 square foot minimum lot size. Based on the findings, Z1 through Z3, you did, yeah. Oh, 6,000 square feet, excuse me, minimum. Uh, for six, I was just excited at 48,787 square feet is 1.12 acres. <laughs> so, uh, 6,000 square foot minimum lot size based on the findings Z1 through Z3 and the facts supporting these findings as set forth in the staff report. Second. Oh. Is there a second? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. Good luck. Good luck, yeah. The next item on the agenda is PCN 16026, consideration of and possible action on a conditional use permit request to allow the construction of a new 75-foot tall concealment flagpole, flagpole cell tower within 750 feet of existing cell towers on a site Point of 0 0.89 acres in size in the PD Plan Development Kylie Ranch South Zoning District located at 5215 Vista Boulevard Sparks for possible action. Presenting uh, Senior Development Services Manager, Ms. Karen Melby. Good evening, Planning Commissioners. Karen Melby. Um, this, I this item before you tonight, staff is asking that we postpone this item um, to um, a, a future planning commission meeting. However, it has been noticed, we've done the neighborhood notice, so you will have to open the public hearing. I just wanted to remind you of that. But staff is asking that this item be postponed. Thank you for the reminder. Yeah. Um, this item, as indicated, has been withdrawn, but since it's been Not noticed, withdrawn. Excuse me. Postponed. Postponed, excuse me. <laughs> uh, a request for a public hearing. Open the public hearing, please. Would anyone like to come forward? There being none, the public hearing is closed. Uh, bring it back to the commissioners. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion that we uh, postpone PCN 16026 uh, American Towers until um, a future meeting. All second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? The next item on the agenda is PCN 14037, consideration of and possible action on a request to amend a final plan de development handbook for Cowie Ranch North Phase 6 to add approximately 38 acres, revise the development standards, and other matters properly related thereto in conformance with the tentative plan development handbook for Cowie Ranch North 
on a site totaling approximately 146.68 acres in size in the NUD New Urban District Cowie Ranch North Zoning District located in the northeast of Cowie Parkway and Henry Orr Parkway, Sparks, Nevada. Presenter is Development Services Manager, Ms. Karen Melby. Good evening, Planning Commission. It's Karen Melby, Development Service Manager, for the record. The, this is a final handbook um, for the Kylie Ranch plan development. And as you remember, um, we have a tentative handbook that incorporates the entire 800 and approximately 875 acres. And it's brought down, this is done by phases. And this is the sixth phase. Originally, this handbook was approved by City Council on May 12, uh, 2014, and this is an amendment to bring the, this uh, Phase 6 into compliance with the Tentative Plan Development Handbook. The pl Tentative Plan Development Handbook is scheduled to go to City Council on July 11th for approval. This final handbook it applies to Phase 6. Let me, on this graphic... The area dashed in black outlines the phase six, which is approximately 146, 47 acres. What we're adding is a portion of the um, LMR here and then also this open space. And previously there was a park, on a five acre park on this parcel. And what we've done, the city has requested that we combine the park and make it a community park. So this is nine point four, six acres, I believe. Um, so this is now the new location of the park, which is all part of this phase six handbook. Uh, staff has reviewed it in compliance with the um, tentative handbook and finds that it is in com substantial compliance with the tentative handbook. The handbook does not vary from the proposed gross density or intensity of the Kylie um, tentative handbook. It does not vary the proposed ratio of residential to non-residential. It does not reduce the common open space areas. There is no increase in floor area proposed for non-residential use for this handbook, final handbook, and there is no increase in the ground floor area covered by the buildings, nor is there a substantial change in the height of buildings. Therefore, staff is of the opinion that this final handbook for phase six is in substantial compliance with the tentative handbook. That concludes my presentation. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Just a question of numbers. Is it 9.46 or 9.42 as I read the math? Um, I was doing it by memory because I can't read the numbers. Yeah, but whatever memory. the map says, that's the correct acreage. That's 9.42. Yeah. Well, that's a record show. It's 9.42. Thank you. Are there any questions for Ms. Melby? Would the applicant like to come forward? Good evening. For the record, Mike Rayleigh with Rubicon Design Group here representing KM2 Development. With me tonight are Lois Brown and Scott Christie with KM2, as well as Mike Pawnee with McDonald Carano. I think Karen did a great job summarizing this is essentially the follow-up to the meeting that we had last month. So um, really we, the, the big change is that we're adding the 38 acres, combining the park, I'm um, really kind of defining the trails and open space, and we're just here to answer any questions you might have. Any questions for the applicant? This is a public hearing. Uh, would you like to open a public hearing, please? Thank you, Mike. Anyone want to come forward and speak? No one comes forward, uh, public hearing will be closed. Bring it back to the commissioners for final comments and questions. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion. Um, I can make the findings that Kylie Ranch uh, North Phase 6 is in compliance with the tentative approved map. And with that, I move to forward a recommendation of approval to the City Council of PCN 14037 as the final handbook is in substantial compliance with the City Council's action on the tenant of approval of Kylie Ranch North Plan Development Handbook and the facts supporting these findings as set forth in the staff report. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. Thank you, guys. 
Good luck. Right. Okay. So we have a general business item, PCN 12022, consideration of and possible action on a request to approve the building elevations for two hotels totaling approximately 95.045 square feet located on a site 13.38 acres in size at 100 Legends Bay Drive in fulfillment of the requirements listed in the Legends at Sparks Marina Plan Development Handbook. Good evening, Planning Commissioners. Karen Melby, Development Service Managers. Um, what I wanted to show you first, this is um, a project located within the Legends. The two parcels are these. The northern is, I believe, let me double check, would be the Residence Inn, this northern parcel, and this would be the Hampton Inn parcel. You can see that this is the mall right here. This would be where the casino is projected to be. You approved, I think it was last Planning Commission meeting, the elevations for the casino. Um, so that was one of the questions that came up at the study session. I wanted to show you a map. This is in fulfillment of the, the legends at the Sparks Marina Handbook, which requires architecture of elevations shall be subject to review and approval by the Planning Commission, excluding interior plaza storefronts. The location, as I show on this map here, are on the northwest of the casino adjacent to the Marina Lake. The proposed elevations conform to the Sparks Plan Development Handbook. Let me show you first. This is the residence inn, one of the elevations. I didn't want to go through all of the sides, mm -hmm. but this one I showed because it does show you the call-outs of the details, of some of the details in case you have questions. This is for the residence inn. And then, the, oh, I got the wrong one. Oops. <laughs> They're similar <laughs> in um, elevations. <laughs> uh, we accidentally copied the site plan and still the elevations. <laughs> I do have paper copies, and I think you're all provided with paper right. copies. Uh, yeah. I yeah. apologize yeah. for that mistake. Um, anyway, staff feels that the materials and colors are consistent with and are complementary to the adjacent shopping center colors and materials. Staff believes that the proposed elevations meet the standards of the legends at the Marina Plan Development Handbook, and I'd be happy to answer any questions. And if you want, we can probably put the correct elevations for the Hampton Inn on the docu cam if you need it. Well, I think that's, we've got, I got copy, we've yeah. all got copy, and I've even and I agree with staff. I find it quite compatible with the area in that. And also I find that they had the same architect to competitive dwellings and uh, it makes it easier, it makes it uh, more, more complete in my idea. But I find them very good elevations, I really do. Are there any additional questions for Ms. Melby? I just think when somebody goes to the casino and they come back, they're not going to know what hotel they're at. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the one on the left or the one on the right? They put a sign on both of them. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'd like to open the public hearing for any comments. No, it's general business. It's a general, general business. See, see, applicant. see if the applicant, excuse me, wants to come forward. At that time, um, if anyone is. Uh, move to approve the building elevations for two hotels totaling an approximate 95,045 square feet located on a site 13.38 acres in size at 100 Legends Bay Drive in fulfillment of the requirements set forth in the Legends at Sparks Marina Plan Development Handbook associated with PCN 12022. We have a motion. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Now we'll public open. Comment. Now we will open for public comment. If anyone would like to come forward, make a comment, I'd ask you to fill out a card. There being none, 
Any comments from the commissioner? Um, I'd like to make a comment. Uh, I want to, I'm very honored that our assistant city attorney is here tonight, and thank you, especially on your birthday. Yes. Aww. So happy birthday. Welcome. <laughs> happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah, <laughs> and we're going to be done before 6.30? You'll be happy. There being no further comments, social or otherwise, I think <laughs> so <laughs> for a call for adjournment. I move we adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.